Electronics is a very interesting subject, right? If you want to learn more about electronics, you can opt for a course which trains you in electronics core. So there are two electronics based courses in BTEC. One is ECE, Electronics and Communication Engineering and Triple E, Electronics and Electrical Engineering. Even though you are interested in electronics, you have to decide only one among them. So what to choose? ECE suits better for some of them, while Triple E suits better for some. Confused to decide, right? So I am making this video by comparing these two courses based on some major aspects like job opportunities, syllabus, etc. So you can get full clarity. So watch this video to the end without skipping any part of it. So let's start. Easy vs. Triple E. If you look at the syllabus, the syllabus is same for all the branches of engineering in their first year. In the first year of your BTEC, your syllabus includes subjects like engineering drawing, English, C language, etc. Irrespective of your branch, you must learn these basic subjects. Core subjects will be introduced in the second year of your BTEC. Triple branch deals with electrical technology and machines, circuit analysis. So this branch includes subjects like circuit analysis, electromagnetism, control systems, transformers, motors, generators, designing systems, electrical measurements. Whereas ECE branch consists of subjects like digital electronics, microprocessors, VLSI, wireless and radio communication system. So Triple course consists of completely core electronics. But ECE has three conceptual studies. Firstly, you'll learn electronics, which means electronic devices and circuits, network analysis, etc. And secondly, you'll learn communication, which means signal transmissions. You can learn how signals transmit from satellite to television, phone signals, and uh, wireless and satellite communication, etc. And finally, you will learn a part of computer science. You can learn programming. So you may get a doubt that why programming is involved in ECE. This is because ECE has a subject called digital electronics, which is being used very often in these days. We can operate many electronic gadgets like TV and washing machine by the phone itself. And we are using different kinds of sensors which require programming to perform its specific task. So that's why programming is involved in ECE. So Triple E is a course of core electronics, whereas ECE deals with electronics, communication and a part of computer science. Whereas ECE deals with electronics, communication and a part of computer science as well. An electronics and communication engineer can work in mobile manufacturing companies, computer manufacturing companies, software sector and IT sector. An electronics and electrical engineer can work in electricity boats, utility companies for installation and maintenance of power systems, companies which manufacture and design or test electrical goods. <music> Top recruiters of ECE are Dell, Reliance, Texas, DMRC, Motorola, ISRO, Infosys, Wipro, TCS, Tech Mahindra. And top recruiters of Triple E are BHEL, LNT, Microtech, Simons, Adan, Wipro, Tata, etc. You'll have a lot of job opportunities for both the branches. So you don't have any problems regarding the job. Whichever branch you choose, you'll definitely get a job with a good income if you work hard and study well. But one thing to say, if you have completed ECE, then you can work in software or telecom industries or hardware. But for triple E students, they have to work on the core side. But triple E students have much knowledge in the core when compared to ECE students so that they can get promoted to a great stage in their career. If you are interested in electronics core, then choose Triple E. Or if you also want to learn communication and uh, if you are innovative and very interested in different gadgets, then ECE may suit you better. Then choose ECE. So don't worry about job opportunities or salaries. Give much importance to your interest, but don't just blindly follow any bits of advice from others. Each branch has good support and equal opportunities. So you can excel in your career if you follow your passion and your dream subject. Electronics is a very interesting subject. You may learn programming by taking some courses outside, but you can't learn electronics in another way. So if you are interested, don't miss this chance out. Take a wise decision. Choose a course which accelerates your career. And finally, the video came to an end. If you still have any doubts, do comment and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.